All right, guys, let's do another one here. Uh, of course, we're going to start with the mushrooms. Different kind this time, but, you know, mushrooms are mushrooms in my book. Feels weird sitting down doing this, actually. Of course, I gotta have my cabbage. This I need to go wash. I haven't. This is just for me tonight, guys, so we're not going to be doing the whole cabbage. We'll put the rest in that bag. Okay. I'm going to toss this over here in the pan. We're not turning the heat on yet. Cabbage goes in last. Bean sprouts will go in with the mushrooms. I'm going to move you guys over here. Let's see what's going on. Alright guys. Let's get this on some high heat here. Again, the sunflower oil. This is my uh, chicken thigh I pre-cooked. Yeah, let's go in about that much. Bean sprouts. Alright guys, you know about the peppers. Got it, you know. Got to have the peppers. Remember that's on high heat. You want to keep this moving at all times. You're going to burn your mushrooms. You know, don't want to burn your shrooms. Yeah, right. 
right here is where you start adding your water. Not too much oil. Not good for the body. Alright guys, the lettuce or the cabbage, I always call it lettuce. It goes in after your mushrooms are pretty much ready for what you like. And if you see I put a lid on this, um I wanna get those mushrooms cooked good. A lot of people don't realize that mushrooms is that you don't really get no much nutrients from them unless they are actually cooked. It opens it up to where you can use the nutrients, otherwise it just passes through you. Like eating them in your salad. I do that all the time. I didn't know that. But you're not really getting anything from them. But when you cook them, it allows your body to be able to use the nutrients from all mushrooms. But you're going to let it simmer here for a good, me, at least 15 minutes because I, I want the um, mushrooms good and soft and ready before I throw in the uh, lettuce. And then after throwing in the lettuce, that's when we'll add our flavoring. We'll do the premium. No, you know what? Yeah, we'll do the premium. <coughs> All right. All right. If you're not sure where to get it, Chinese store. Um, Asian stores, um, uh, Korean store, that's where we do a lot of our shopping. I just put like, not even a, probably a half teaspoon or tablespoon of that in there. This is a, a dark, you don't have to use the dark, you can use the light. I, I a lot of times I'll use the, um, the low sodium. Tastes the same to me. And then this one here, it's pretty thick, so you gotta kinda wiggle it out in there. It's like a, almost like a barbecue sauce. It's a, if you notice here, oyster sauce. But, uh, and I guess it's here too, but yeah, it's pretty good. I use that in a lot of the dishes. And again, I want to store up here. And their garlic did not look good. So I skipped it and walked right past the onions and forgot to grab it. And I blame it on because I was irritated because the garlic looked so crappy. Just steam them out a little.
right now kind of depends on you. You just kind of watch your lettuce here. And as what I do is I watch the white pieces here, the thicker pieces. And when those are ready, then I know it's ready. And I'm going to cover this back up. And it's going to sit here and I'm going to turn the heat down to medium. And I'm going to let it sit here and simmer, let that wilt. Let the heat wilt the lettuce. Alright guys, I'll bring it back in a couple minutes. Okay guys, I moved the camera over so you can see the clock back there. I hope you can see that at 611. I put that lid on there at 610 and it's already wilting that lettuce. That's how quick it'll do it. So all you got to do is keep an eye on the on the white. And it's it's getting there but it's not quite yet as tender as I like to see it. Everything else is looking good. So we're going to slap that back on there. Remember that thing says 611, so when I bring you back, take a look at it. Alright, let's take a look at this. In a couple minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as I paused you guys at 611, I turned it down a little more. I didn't want it burning on the bottom either. That's the thing, if you see it starting to stick on your pan or anything, cut that heat down. Alright. I think that's almost there. Oh yeah, how's that look, guys? Of course, we gotta have our chili. Guys, I'm telling you, if you've never cooked authentic Chinese, do it. It's good. Hmm. You know, my wife's from China, and she thought it was kind of weird the first time she seen me eat a salad because. Nothing's cooked in it. The mushrooms, the lettuce, nothing's cooked. And she's used to eating all those vegetables cooked. A lot of vegetables, our bodies can't even use them unless we cook them like mushrooms and this is just probably not even quite half of what I made the other half I'll be using for my lunch tomorrow.
And that's one of the ways they they eat is <clears throat> their leftovers are added to the next meal until they're gone. They're not the only thing with the next meal, but you get some of the leftovers with your next meal, no matter if it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The other thing is I noticed when she cooks the vegetables, she's cooking a lot of stuff, she'll cook the vegetables separate because they don't like to keep cooked vegetables. They like to make sure they all get eaten. All right, guys, I don't think you want to sit here and watch me eat all this. So we're going to call this one good. If you like the videos, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and you'll see more of it. All right, thanks, guys. You have a nice day. See you on the next one.